Good morning. It is 5.30, I think, right around there. I'm not sure of the date. 23rd? It is 5.34 a.m. October 23rd. Monday. Hard to believe October's almost gone. Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That is a <clears throat> well-known and much-loved song. Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us yet another day. Sometimes we take these things for granted and we don't praise you and thank you and realize what a blessing another day is. We thank you, Lord, that we get to be in your presence, that we can come boldly before you and tell you what's on our heart and thank you and praise you for who you are and cast our cares upon you. Please be with each one of us as we speak to you in our own way about our own issues and our own thoughts and our own prayer requests. Please help us to praise you properly and see all of the miracles that you put into every day of our life. Help us to recognize all of those blessings that you pour out over us and we take for granted. Dear Lord, help us as we walk through the day. Put yourselves in front of us so we may be ever mindful of you. We want to do things the way you want them done. We want to do what you want us to do. We want to praise you. We want to exalt you through our lives. We want people to look onto our lives and say, Christ is there. We want our testimony to be found true. <clears throat> Dear Lord, please make us Help us to make the right choices today for our lives, our spiritual lives, our emotional lives, for our health, the things that you want us to accomplish, the physical things. Help us to know what we need to do and to do it in a way that's pleasing to you. Please let these words touch someone. The words of your book, they come back not void. Please let's the, let the words to this song bless someone. And I thank you, dear God, for these people, for whoever wrote this song. I thank you that I get to hear it because it is such a blessing. Not only listening to the song, but listening to the Blackwoods sing it, listening to Pat Hoffmaster sing it. I thank you that I was raised in a family that took me to see the Blackwoods, that took me to hear the Gathers and the Slaughters. It is such a rich heritage of just being surrounded by people that lift up your name and glorify you and bless the listener as well. And we bond together in spirit because we know these words of you are true. And when we hear them saying, we remember them, we relive them, and we praise you again, and we think of them again. We bless you, dear God. <clears throat> Please help each of us as we continue on in our individual prayers. Help us to get close to you. Help us to not have what we think of as a performance prayer, but to kneel before your presence and pour out our hearts before you and offer up praise and thanksgiving for all that you are, for who you are, for what you are, not just what you do for us. You are the Lord of all lords, the King of all kings, the God of all gods. And I praise you and I thank you for being mine because of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. 
In Jesus' name, I ask these things. Amen. I hope that if anybody does listen to this, you will even stop or after the song, you find a place where you can be alone. You need to make a place like that in your heart. But continue your prayer. Say your prayers to the Lord. Offer up your praise and thanksgiving, your morning greeting to the Lord God Almighty, which kept you safe through the night, which has a purpose for you today, or you probably wouldn't be here. <clears throat> I've noticed different times in the Bible when they would go to somewhere new, the first thing they did on that new piece of property, and even spots along the way where they camped, they builded an altar. There should be a place in your house to pray, and I have had different places. And I think about it in this house and on this property, Serenity Homestead, and I haven't found the place yet, but I want a place indoors that is for praying. I want a place out back that is like an outdoor altar. You can't see it at the moment, but I have a blanket due to my knees. I've got a blanket folded up here, and that is where I kneel every morning to pray. Been that way for months. That thing's been laying there for months. I take it up, shake it, refold it, and lay it back down. Or I pick it up and I wash it and I lay it back down. My knees appreciate it, and when I kneel to pray, it's my heart and my mind, not me thinking, oh, I probably should get down and pray, but this is hurting my knees. Okay, Lord, thanks, you know, for everything, and oh, gosh, my knees hurt. Um, I'm going to get up now. Oh, bless everybody that I love and help them and stuff. Amen. Um, get your knees out of the way. Make them comfy. Listen to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Just be in that moment. Don't let anything else interfere. On YouTube, I have uploaded the Blackwoods singing Restore My Soul. Sounds a little sharp. Didn't before. Lord, you know, I've been foolish. I've been blind. I've let my doubt and confusion. my mind. I've walked in my own wisdom. Wrong? Is it wrong? I know Rob is in there somewhere. Take my hand or lend me back where I belong. I haven't listened to the song in years. <clears throat> Strip the wrong that once I clung to. Still I come. Those are good words. Just as I am. Come. Make me all that I should be. Pat Hoffmaster. Jimmy Blackwood, Cecil Blackwood, Ken Turner, Tommy Fairchild, Old Time Singing, to stand with you on the top. to have seen them say yes, that I might be worthy at last to stand with thee 
on the top of the mountain. The mountain in the valley we stood. Okay, that sounds like kind of a sharp recording of an actual vinyl album playing. Still such a blessing to hear. Oh, up next, Blackwood Brothers, 1981. He was there all the time. That is another good number. Perhaps we need to play it next time. Hope you tuned in. Hope you have your own devotions. Pick up the word. Get your own Bible. Read it for yourself. If you want to do ours for today, read Psalms 23. Have your prayer. Listen to your song that picks you up and takes you on your way. And if you start to drift in your thoughts or have thoughts that you don't want or get just anything in your life that feels negative, come back and click your little church mouse on this video. Come back to the Word. Come back to your knees. God is faithful and just. He will be right beside, beside you. He will meet you at your altar of prayer every single time. Light the way for someone. Pass it on. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Ciao for now.